Which Miami Beach neighborhood is right for you? Let's figure it out right now. We recently did our little Battle of the Neighborhoods video and it was great, but now it's time to dive in a little bit more and get into the ultimate Miami battle. Battle of the beachfront neighborhoods in Miami Beach proper. I'm Seth Neocon, founder of Black Book Properties and condoblackbook.com, and we're the only guide you need to know Miami real estate and lifestyle like an insider. A lot of you just feel like it's time to move to Miami Beach, but you aren't quite sure of what it means to choose one neighborhood of Miami Beach over another. So today we're comparing Miami's beaches, South Beach, Mid Beach, and North Beach. Answering which one is the best may be hard, but we hope to help you decide which one could be best for you. Now real quick, let's go over some basics. Miami Beach is one city, but it's made of three distinct neighborhoods, South Beach, Mid Beach, and North Beach. South Beach is, you guessed it, the southernmost neighborhood of Miami Beach, and it includes many neighborhoods like South of Fifth, the West Avenue Corridor on Biscayne Bay, Sunset Harbor, the Venetian Islands, and so on. It runs basically up to about 24th Street. Mid Beach is just north of South Beach. In the heydays of the 50s and 60s, it was actually called Millionaire's Row, and most of Mid Beach is centered along Collins Avenue, but it also covers Allison Island, Pine Tree Drive, and exclusive single-family neighborhoods like La Gorse. Mid Beach runs up to about 63rd Street, and North Beach runs from 64th Street to about 87th Terrace, where it then borders to Surfside on the north. North Beach includes the neighborhoods of Normandy Isles, North Shore, Altos de Mar, and Biscayne Point, among others. Okay, now that we have the general lay of the land, let's get into the side-by-side -side comparisons and what makes these beach neighborhoods stand out from each other. Lifestyles in the Miami Beach neighborhoods. So, all of these locations obviously offer the beach lifestyle, and that lifestyle is one of the best in the world. What does that lifestyle mean exactly? First, Living in any of these neighborhoods means you are, at best, right on the sand, and at furthest, maybe 10 minutes away from the soft sands and crystal waters of the beach. No matter exactly where you are, you will find miles and miles of beaches interspersed with beachfront parks and beautiful condos. I'm gonna get into the differences in the actual beaches a little bit later. That said, there are definitely distinctions between these three areas. We'll go from bottom to top. South Beach is the most dense part of Miami Beach and the most touristy in certain pockets. It has the most street life, restaurants, and shops by a long shot. It's a perfect combination of compact urbanism with lots of activity. If you love international culture, people on the streets, and constant activity, but with the vibe of a casual beach town, it's the place for you. It also has pocket neighborhoods with distinctly different vibes as well. For example, South of Fifth or Sophie is an exclusive and high-end neighborhood at the southernmost point of South Beach, while West Avenue, Sunset Harbor, and Belle Isle offer a more neighborhood feel. Check out our other videos on more of these pocket neighborhoods. Now, let's move up to Mid Beach. Historically, Millionaire's Row was defined by the dozens of condos and hotels lining the beach there. It's one of the most narrow parts of Miami Beach, making it a really unique swath of land surrounded by water. On the other side of Indian Creek, you have Pine Tree Drive, a very desirable and high-end residential part of Mid Beach, where you have multi-million dollar homes and mansions lining the waterway. So because of the geography of Mid Beach, it will always be different than South Beach and much more residential. Moving north, similar to South Beach, North Beach has a variety of neighborhood stores and restaurants intermingled with one another, with plenty of sidewalk cafes, restaurants, and shops. Quiet and removed from the action, it's also the most tailor-made for locals. But it's also the oldest or least renovated of the three neighborhoods, at least so far. However, its town center aspect continues to improve as new revival projects spring to life in the area, as well as new condo projects are built, like the recently completed Monaco Yacht Club and Residences and Renzo Piano's beautiful 87 Park. For more on North Beach, check out our most recent video comparing this area to Sunny Isles Beach. Shopping, arts, and entertainment. The great thing about all of these neighborhoods is that if you live in one of them, they're close enough together that you'll find yourself traveling between them on a regular basis. There's just too much to offer in each of the neighborhoods, and each has its own little vibe. If you want a five-star restaurant experience, you can head to South Beach. But if you want a hidden gem of a brunch spot, you'll find that in North Beach. If you want a luxurious night out with glamorous dinner and then drinks at a small club, you can head to find a district in Mid Beach. Or if you're a member, enjoy the Soho House. But to get specific, here's a general breakdown. 
South Beach will always have the most of everything. Whether that's restaurants, big name brands and boutiques, gyms, groceries, performing arts centers, and nightlife. In terms of shopping, the main areas here are Fifth Street with big box brands like Best Buy and Target, the famous outdoor pedestrian only Lincoln Road with high-end international and boutique brands like Intermix, Anthropology, Osklin, Y3, West Elm, and so on. And you also have some pretty decent shopping interspersed in Collins Avenue. Then there's the shops at Sunset Harbor, which is a quaint little pocket in the west side of South Beach, mixing boutiques like Eberge and Frankie with yoga studios and specialty gyms, excellent restaurants, as well as grocery stores such as Fresh Market, Publix, and Trader Joe's. There's also a Whole Foods not too far away. If you're living in Mid Beach, there's a downtown area here on 41st Street with shops, cafes, coffee shops, and offices. There are also some really quality boutiques and great restaurants in the condos and hotels that line Mid Beach, such as those at Fianna District or the Fountain Blue Hotel. I should note that the nationally ranked Mount Sinai Hospital is here in Mid Beach as well, way on the western side, and it's an excellent hospital with specialized doctors and clinics and an affiliation with Columbia University. North Beach has a different variety of options altogether on offer for the category of shopping, restaurants, etc. First, it's super close to Bal Harbor and all of the restaurants there. Plus the ultra luxury Bal Harbor shops. Given that it's a bigger, more residential community, North Beach also has more local and family focused retail, restaurants and entertainment. There's easy street parking here and you'll find a variety of cuisines, many of which are neighborhood gems, really. North Beach also has several community centers that offer recreational activities, tennis, yoga classes, kids camps and so on. Plus, it has several golf courses and country clubs, including the private Lagorse Country Club and nearby Indian Creek, as well as the public Normandy Shores Country Club. In terms of cultural events, South Beach is the clear winner, with North Beach as a second. South Beach has many annual festivals, from the famous Wine and Food Festival to our Basel and Design Miami. Plus, it has the New World Symphony housed in the beautiful opera house designed by Frank Gehry as well as the Fillmore at the Jackie Gleason Theater and the massive Miami Beach Convention Center. North Beach's popular North Beach Band Shell is a great venue that has open air concerts year round where you can catch top international talent in a very intimate setting under the stars. If you've never been, definitely check it out. Walkability and transportation. All of Miami Beach neighborhoods are easily walkable except for a few elite enclaves or gated communities and getting from one end of the beach to the other is basically a piece of cake. Thanks to easy roads, bike paths, and if you use it, the free Miami Beach trolley service that serves all areas of Miami Beach with air conditioning. However, in all these beach areas, most people will end up using their cars when traveling to and from any other part of Miami outside the beach. Parks, green space, and the beaches. Designed to be a tropical playground, all of Miami Beach is just that tropical foliage, sandy beaches, and parks and recreation to help you enjoy all of it. South Beach has many parks, from Flamingo Park with its tennis and swimming centers and soccer fields, to South Point Park with its cafes, dog areas, and playgrounds, to beachfront parks all along the beach. North Beach has parks and outdoor space for all kinds of activities, including the already mentioned North Beach Band Shell for concerts and festivals, as well as a skate park Oceanside Park, and many golf courses we already talked about. And obviously, all of these places have the true main Miami Beach attraction, the beach. In South Beach, the beaches are a little wider and you have the Instagram-worthy painted lifeguard stands, which also means here you'll have more tourists. For locals who don't live directly on the beach, favorite spots are 3rd Street Beach in Sophie or 17th Street around the set tie and the W. As soon as you head north of South Beach, the beaches here are much less touristy and private. While there are several public parking lots along Collins Avenue, if you live here, the beach will feel more like your backyard. And that's because Mid Beach offers so many beachfront condo living opportunities. Heading up to North Beach, beaches here are a little wider than Mid Beach, and you have a few more beachfront parks, including North Beach Oceanside Park, which offers a beautiful mix of the green grass of the park right next to the white sand and crystal waters. Architecture and housing. The architecture in all of Miami Beach is an iconic mixture of Art Deco, Neo-Mediterranean, 
mid-century modern and architecturally acclaimed luxury condos. South Beach provides the opportunity to live in a variety of housing options from a sleek oceanfront high-rise to a luxurious loft or in a smaller boutique Art Deco style condo. Whatever the home type, you'll find no short supply of luxury here. If you're looking for the most exclusive luxury, South of Fifth is a great place. We actually did a video exclusively on South of Fifth. You should check it out. If you want other neighborhoods with high-end condos that feel a little less touristy, then West Avenue Corridor and Sunset Harbor will give you that in South Beach. In Mid Beach, most of your options here will be mid-rise and high-rise condos from older and kitsch to new and luxurious, with more on the way. North Beach is the least touristy part of Miami Beach, and Miami Beach generally gets more affordable as you go north. In terms of condos, North Beach probably has the fewest options, but has a good variety of single-family residential options and price points, from small single-family homes and affordable rental apartments to large mansions and new luxury condominiums, with more in development. Schools in the Miami Beach neighborhoods. Let's talk about schools for just a moment. This category is where the neighborhoods are less defined and it's harder to call a clear winner. In general, Miami Beach has highly ranked public schools. North Beach Elementary and South Point Elementary schools are both highly coveted schools for their programming, and some neighborhoods share zoning. For example, children in South Beach and North Beach are zoned to attend Nautilus Middle School in Mid Beach, and South Beach and Mid Beach High School students will attend Miami Beach Senior High School in South Beach, while North Beach has its own high school. In terms of private schools, there are many throughout these three neighborhoods for children of various ages. There's Hebrew Academy in South Beach, St. Patrick's Catholic School in Mid Beach and North Beach. There's Temple Menorah Jewish Montessori, Lehrman Community Day School and others. And children living on Miami Beach also attend great private schools in mainland Miami, right across the bridge in Edgewater, Brickell and Coconut Grove. If you want more details, just contact us and we'll help you figure it all out. So who wins the best neighborhood in Miami Beach? To declare a winner here, first things first. If you live in any of these neighborhoods, you're a winner. But we realize that each of these neighborhoods appeal to a different interest and lifestyle. So to declare a real winner, you've got to get a little more granular at what you're looking for and what you're into. Let's talk about it. If you need more city life, an international feel and more walkability, South Beach will be ideal for you. If you're looking for 24-7 access to own a piece of heaven on the beach and not a lot happening around you, choose Mid Beach. If you want a mix of family-friendly activities, a local vibe that's a little more down to earth, then head north to North Beach. If you have questions about any of these Miami Beach neighborhoods or want to explore Miami real estate and lifestyle like an insider, you know who to call. We're here anytime for you. Once again, I'm Seth from Black Book Properties. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.